So, as you just seen, uh, we can one-shot Billy the Anointed. Uh, that's with no bonuses to anything we're doing. Maybe the Cryo. I think I might have a, a Cryo Action Skill End bonus or yeah. Anointment, so maybe a little bonus for that. But uh, we can we can get that one shot even with the uh, negative 25% to cr crits modifier. And so, just to explain what I did there, I just uh, entered the Iron Bear and exited it. We have the action skill end on the Ion Cannon. Now I've pulled this one shot off without even proccing my action skill end, but it's definitely more reliable doing it that way. Uh, it won't happen every time if I, if I don't. And I've done it with this one. I've done it with this one. I did not manage to get it to work with this one. And this is the one I just prefer to use because uh, anointed enemies are weak to fire. So we use that. We use the rerouter like I always do for any kind of one shots. Do we got that bonus shock damage for action skill end. Not really necessary probably, but it's there and it helps. We also got the action skill end cryo on the nade. Uh, we could use an on thrown one and that gives us good damage boost too. It's just an extra step after we get out of Iron Bear we throw an it a nade off into nowhere and then what we're using is 40 or 33 percent area of effect on our artifact and then we got heavy and weapon damage on our green monster now i've been using green monsters for one shots instead blast master is what i use for this build when i do mobbing like i was doing uh trial of cunning the other day when i do slaughter shaft if i try to take on black site with the build as you can see i only have if I had this Blast Master on, I would only have two in Vampire, so I don't have any points spent in Vampire. So I need that if I want to do any mobbing, or I'm not going to have healing at all. So, uh, if I go mobbing, I do that. But when I'm trying to one-shot stuff, like Chantel, I was doing the other day, and I provided a clip, or right now, Billy the Anointed, we use the Green Monster. And I have a couple different ones, and it pretty much works with all of these. As long as you just got some plus splash damage on it or heavy damage, or AOE damage, and then you also got that on your artifact, it's, it's pretty much going to be guaranteed if you have a half-decent Iron Cannon. Like, this one's got a low base damage, so it's not even that great. And like I said, I pulled it off without even using the action skill end as well, so you don't need the perfect gear for it. And now I'm going to go over the changes I made in the build. Uh, I no longer use any points in any auto bear stuff. So as you can see uh, in the demolition woman built or tree, now I only have five and fire in the skag den and three in means of destruction. And then we get our vampire or we get our holy holy pan and our vampire from the blast master that we put on for mobbing. Otherwise, if we're doing bosses, we don't use that. And I see the the reason I use the green monster is because it works with the iron charge, and so I can charge up that green monster's corrosive bonus while I'm holding it down. And the difference with that and the Blast Master is the Blast Master takes a full minute to get to his 100% damage. And it's pretty comparable uh, one, one to the other. So go ahead and use a green monster so that we get that bonus every time doing our quick one-hit kills and stuff. And so I saved a lot of points in Demolition Woman by not taking Auto Bear, right? We're not taking Auto Bear anymore. We're not taking... Uh, I was putting points, I was putting three points here, and I was putting like two here or something like that before. We had to waste points to even move down that far. So we've saved a lot of points by only doing these. And then uh, I, I want to go over to Bottomless Mags first. This is mostly the same, except for uh, now we invest fully into Scorching RPMs and Click Click. I, I'm not sure I was doing that before. But as you can see, we, we take everything. I want. I don't care about match set. I just take it to move all the way down to Forge, and we, we dropped Specialist Bear, we dropped some for the road as well, and we just went ahead and put those in match set, that way we can get our Iron Cannon mags bigger and get them to regenerate faster. It just lets us shoot more often and stuff like that. And then, so with the other points that we saved, now we get 5 in Drowning in Brass. So, uh, when we're doing mobbing, that's just more, more damage we're going to do. As we get kills, it's just going to ramp up our damage more and more. And then we got also experimental munitions with those ex with that extra point. So overall, this build uh, is a lot stronger damage-wise. Uh, survivability is, you know, it's, 
the faster you kill, the better you survive. So I, uh, this actually clears the slaughter shaft a lot easier. I don't go down at all. Two points in vampire is enough, but I rarely even have to heal. Like it's very, very rare that I heal. Uh, when I do the slaughter shaft, I switch my shield over to the recharger there, and it does have that that 75% increase in shields when I get out of. Iron Bear, which, you know, to be honest, now with this new setup, I, I don't even hardly use Iron Bear. I don't proc my anointment. I don't need to. I'm just one-shotting everything, and I'm um, hardly ever taking damage, and if I do, then I just hop an Iron Bear real quick and get out, and boom. Uh, you know, I just, I get my anointment and everything. So you could run with a rerouter easily in there. Anyways, I just wanted to show the changes and show a way for easily farming the Raging Bear. Well, I would say easily, but the drop rate's pretty trash, so you're going to be doing it a lot. So it's nice to have a quick one-shot. Uh, the other thing to take take note of is just like when we were doing Chantel, uh, we want to take full advantage of click click. So you notice my backpack is at zero, and before I reload the map, I'm going to make sure that uh, my clip is down at like zero, one, or two. Anyways, have fun.